Right now we want to turn to an I-Team investigation. Medical marijuana patients in the state here in Connecticut are absolutely outraged. They say ever since recreational sales began, they're finding fewer options to buy and higher prices. We've gotten a few phone calls and emails from medical marijuana patients over the last few weeks. So Chief Investigative Reporter Sam Smink looked into their concerns. Over the past couple weeks, we've gotten a few phone calls and emails from medical marijuana patients who say they can't find what they need. The state says they're aware. I want my certain strains back. I want the prices lower. That's all I'm looking for. And, Jay uh, Warner has been marijuana. using medical marijuana That's since it became legal in Connecticut in 2012. I have PTSD. Um, I have had open heart surgery, quadruple bypass, and it lowers blood pressure. He's been a happy customer until now. It's our product has diminished. It is half the product. Warner says ever since recreational marijuana sales started January 10th, there are less options for him to buy Go. and at a higher exactly price. Right. This is a good one, okay? This is Rhythm Hybrid, okay? $44. That's this product right here. That's what you're looking at. I didn't pay that much for that. I probably pay $28 to $30 for this. Warner is a customer of Fine Fettle, a company that has several dispensary locations across the state. There, there, he says right he doesn't blame the She's dispensary. No He's just frustrated with the situation. Certain products work for me, certain strains, and they're not available to me right now. Earlier this week, Fine Fettle sent an email to customers saying they want to explain what's going on. In this email, the company says the medical menu has shrunk and is lacking options patients are used to seeing. Fine Fettle says they've gone from 300 to 400 plus cannabis products to about 180. They continue to advocate to both the producers and Department of Consumer Protection to work on getting more options. But I think the state of Connecticut opened up the gate too early. That's that's my opinion. Verano, who owns grower and dispensary CT Pharma, says they are proud to continue supplying dispensaries across the state of Connecticut without disruption. By law, recreational customers are only allowed to buy a quarter ounce right now to make sure there is enough for medical patients. On January 10th, the amount medical marijuana patients were allowed to buy went up to five ounces per month. The Department of Consumer Protection says they do not set or regulate product prices, but say they are aware about patients' concerns. A spokesperson says the department continues to monitor the supply of cannabis products and will exercise its discretion to set transaction limits appropriately based on market needs as they arise. Work with us. Help us. You know, lower the prices. Give us more product, please. Fine Fettle says they're working on solutions, and Cure Relief in Stanford says they want medical marijuana patients to know their top priority. If you have a complaint, you can file one with the Department of Consumer Protection. We have that information on our website. For now, reporting Rocky Hill, Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.